Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about innate learning. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I'll tell you all about innate learning. Did you know you do things each and every day that you never learned how to do? They're called innate or unlearned behaviors. Innate behaviors seem to be genetically hardwired behaviors. In other words, given an appropriate stimulus or cue or motivation, we just perform these behaviors without any prior experience or exposure to the appropriate response. When it comes to innate behaviors, scientists have separated them into two big categories, the simple and the complex. Let's talk about the simple first, because you already know exactly what they are, you just call them by a different name reflexes. So, things like blinking or blushing, sneezing. They're all behaviors that your body does naturally. Nobody ever had to teach you to sneeze. Your body just knows how to do it when presented with the appropriate stimulus. Some of my personal favorite simple innate behaviors are the photic sneeze. That's where you sneeze after you look into a really bright light. I also really like the vasovagal reflex. That's the reflex that constricts and stretches out your gastrointestinal tract when you've started eating or drinking. Mine usually starts as soon as I see the bag of gummy bears. The other type of innate behavior is called the complex innate behavior because, as the name would suggest, it's the more complex of the two. Instead of a simple stimulus response pattern that you see in the simple innate behavior, in the complex innate behavior, there's a long string of unlearned behaviors that follow one after another after another. A great way to think of the difference between the two is that innate behaviors um, that are simple are more like reflexes, while complex innate behaviors you can think of more like instincts. So things like a migration pattern, like when uh, monarch butterflies migrate over like 3,000 miles. It's a long series of events, right? That's a really complex behavior. And a lot of the time, these complex innate behaviors take the form of what we call fixed action patterns because this chain of behaviors, once it's started, can't be stopped. The famous example of this is the gray lag goose. Like most geese, the gray lag builds its nest on the ground. And that means every so often, for one reason or another, an egg will find its way out of the nest. When that happens, the gray lag goose starts a retrieval behavior, where it takes its firm yet supportive beak and scoops the egg back into the nest. Back in the 1970s, behaviorists Lorenz and Tinbergen were exploring this fixed action pattern behavior that they identified in the gray lag goose when they figured out that not even interrupting the focus of this behavior could stop the fixed action pattern cycle from completing. To figure it out, they actually replaced the goose's egg with other egg-like objects like golf balls or doorknobs and the goose still completed that fixed action pattern scooping of that new egg back into its nest. It even worked when they took the egg away entirely. The goose kept scooping nothing back into its nest. Oh, but you say, I am a human, and in many ways vastly superior to and have an intellect much greater than that of a goose. Think there's no way you'd ever fall victim to the not stopping cycle that is the fixed action pattern? Come back and tell me again after you've tried getting into an elevator and not turning around to face the door. Your brain can do all these kinds of amazing things that it didn't even learn. Imagine how much more it can do once you start learning. If you want to learn more about how we learn, Make sure you subscribe to this channel, Psy vs. Psy, so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science 
of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! I just did a video with a goose. Thanks for taking a gander. Goose joke.